I mean, my, my favorite thing is the, the people in Serbia that really like want to reinstate the monarchy. And when you talk to them about it, it's like, well, which, which dynasty? They're like, oh, Karadjadjuc. It's, oh, it's, like, it's always Karadjadjuc. Yeah. I mean, like these people are British and Americans. Like they're, yes. they're so far removed from yeah. anything Serbian, even like in a diasporic sense, because they, you know, come from like the top of the diaspora, right? They, uh-huh. Their fucking cousins are like in the British royal family and they're just like rich people. Um. So like they don't even have the whole like uh, growing up with other like you know Serbian diaspora people. Mm. No, they they grew up with like other like monarch fucking yeah. people. And what makes it particularly funny is that there was a series of scandals regarding the youngest or one of the youngest ones, Alex Karadjordjevic, uh, who grew up in California. And is basically like a beach bum surfer dude mm. who later in the early 2000s became kind of like um, the quintessential like Brooklyn hipster dude. Like he had like a fucking blog spot and Tumblr of him like ro- riding bicycles around Brooklyn, getting drunk, the fucking doing like making out with dudes, getting like shitty stick and poke tattoos. That's like, a royal. Uh, doing That's speed. a royal. Um, That's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. But it was like a scandal in Serbia because they were like, look at how he's behaving. Like, uh, you know, this befitting of the royal family. And it's like him like passed out in, <laughs> in some house in New York, um, uh, which I think it might have been the same guy tried to open a burrito shop in Belgrade. Do you guys know oh, the story? Real? No. Yeah. Uh, one of the younger Karadjodžić just came back because, again, they, they all like lived in California for, for quite some time in like Southern California, I think, like San Diego or like Encinitas or some shit. And um, he moved to back to Belgrade or back to Belgrade with some guy from San Diego to open a burrito shop. This guy robbed them blind yeah. uh, they, they <laughs> i guess gathered a lot of capital to do this uh his partner robbed him blind went back to the u.s and old i think alex or peter or whichever one of them was you know left sitting on his hands uh, robbed that, all of his money for his burrito shop was, in belgrade that man was a revolutionary yeah that, that money was expropriated <laughs> to the peasants i'm sure yes Fritz here. This has been a highly manipulative attempt to entrap you into our Patreon page at patreon.com slash tenipod to subscribe and get the full premium episode we've teased here. Also check out our Twitter account, also at tenipod, and follow us, subscribe, and get the latest updates as well as whatever garbage falls out of our brains. So we cool? <laughs>